Okay, with regards to what happens to the uh, members of parliament, that are part of the party that have been suspended, that is beyond my jurisdiction. However, we have written the letter to the Honorable Speaker, and uh, that question will be best directed to his uh, office, where he can uh, advise the media on his next step. Uh, there are different provisions that are currently present in the um, Political Parties uh, Act. I'll highlight two provisions, but then again, this is the provisions in the Act. At the end of the day, it's the Honorable uh, Speaker and the uh, legal advice that will be provided to him that will supersede. <coughs> so we have section um, 27, subsection 6. 27, subsection 6 of the Political Party Act. It states that a member who is a member of a political party, a person who is a member of a political party that has been suspended and is a member of parliament shall continue as a member of parliament for the unexpired term. So that is currently the uh, uh, provision in the political parties uh, act. And the other one is section uh, 20, subsection uh, Two where it says where a political party that has been deregistered, this is in case of worst case scenario, there is a deregistration. Under section 19, had representative elected to parliament, such representative shall continue to serve for the remainder of their term as independent or as members of other political parties. So these are the two provisions in the act, but like I mentioned, at the end of the day, this is uh, <coughs> something that needs to be directed to the Honorable Speaker, and uh, he will provide you with uh, his next cause of action. Mm -hmm.